morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. Do you see where I am? I'm home. I hope you had a great weekend. I am happy to be back and I am more excited to see you all this week when I get to come out and see your house and see you there. I have a special present all wrapped up in a bow ready to hand to you. So I am so excited and I cannot wait to see you. Well, happy Tuesday. Happy you day in the ABC countdown for USA. I hope you're wearing your red, white, and blue. I have a little bit of everything on today. So I hope you are in your patriotic wear as well. So if you can believe it, it's the last week of kindergarten. I just can't believe it. So I hope you're ready. Normally, if we were in school right now, we would be going to the park for picnic, we would be getting ready for graduation, and we're still going to do some of those things. Like I said, graduation is going to be Thursday evening at home online when we like have a Zoom meeting. And I hope you're inviting your grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles because everyone will get to have a little slide sharing of just them. And remember those questions mom and dad asked? We're going to share those. So. Let's get started off with our greet today. I want you to put your arms out and I want you to give a big hug to yourself. That's Miss Hayden giving you a big squeeze and saying thank you for all the love and the prayers Miss Hayden could feel it in our heart. My family appreciated it and we really, really love all of you and thank you for thinking of us during this really hard time. So thank you boys and girls. All right, let me think back. Whew. It's so good to be home. It's been a crazy day getting back. Now, so what did you do this weekend for Memorial Day? It was a three-day weekend. We got to have yesterday off when we got to be home. Remember, Memorial Day is where we remember all those men and women who died helping for our country. So perfect that we're wearing the red, white, and blue. Well, we got to wear it yesterday, too. So what did you get to do? Well, this weekend, we made a puzzle. We did a really big puzzle. It had Minnie and Mickey on it. And then, like I said yesterday, Miss Hayden came home. So it was a busy day of going to the airport and going in the car, but I'm happy to be home and so good to be back. So what did you get to do? And I hope you had fun as well. All right, let's get over to message. Now, I did make a message today. If you want to make your own, you can continue to do that because I have really loved looking and seeing at some pictures your very own. So let's take a look at the date. What date would it be today? 26. I'm going to put 26 up. All right, I'm going to grab my pointer. All right, read with me. Good morning, KH. It is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. We will make a birthday card for Stella. Happy birthday, Stella. We have a special surprise for later. Love, Miss Hayden. Identify the coin. So I'm going to hold it up and I want to see if you remember what it has. So right here I have a big one. Hmm, it has George Washington on it, and it's worth 25 cents. What coin would that be? It would be a quarter. All right, my next one I have, it's really small. It's the smallest one we have. Theodore Roosevelt's on it, and it's worth 10 cents. The dime. All right, next we have Thomas Jefferson. It's pretty thick, and it's worth five cents. It would be the nickel. And last but not least, it's copper. It has Abraham Lincoln and it's worth one cent. What would that be? A penny. Did you remember all of those coins? Try and keep it in your brain so you can sort more coins too. All right, before we get to calendar, let's write the date for Sure. Actually, what is Miss Hayden thinking? It is free right this week. You don't have to do journal if you don't want to. It's a fun, fun review week. All right, now let me grab pointer. 
and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. All right, we're back to our calendar and our pattern. What would come next after the B? A f -f flower. What about the next time Sunday? It was a flower. How about Monday for Stella's birthday? And for Memorial Day, it would be a B. And how about today? It's a f -f flower. All right. Question, how many more days until the last day of school? One, two, three, four, four more days. Okay, what day of the week is it? Tuesday. What day was yesterday? Monday. And what day is tomorrow? Wednesday. Let's tell them the date. Today's date is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. All right, I got our trusty binoculars back. Get your own out. What does the weather, 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 what does the weather girl see today? What do you see? Oh, I don't know about you, but we got home, and our yard looks like a jungle because there was so much rain, and it's still raining. I'm seeing raindrops, and I'm seeing some thunder with rain. So I'm going to put up a big raindrop. Now, I'm not going to actually grab the graph out because I haven't been home and our graph would look kind of funny. So I hope you have been tracking your weather too. All right, let's see. So we did our calendar. We did weather. Let's see. Oh, let me wrap that up. All right, before we start, your last packet for the week, week eight. It is summer and end of the year. Everything you need will be in here. Miss Hayden's only going to do a few videos, but I'm kind of going to combine a few of them, okay? We're going to review what we've learned so far in kindergarten. We're going to read some fun summer stories, and I just hope you have a great week, boys and girls. All right, before I end our morning meeting, I want to give a reminder to you to tell mom and dad that the lobby in the church is open for you to return your guided reading books, your library books, your book bag from Guided Reading, any of those things that we need to return back to school. You can go on in through the church and drop it off because Guided Reading is done this week. You only are going to have a few things to do for distance learning. So like I said, I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoy wearing your red, white, and blue. I can't wait to see you either today or over the next two days. We're gonna have a couple class meetings and especially for graduation. So boys and girls, have a great Tuesday. I will see you soon. Make it a good one.